Joined by head coach Rob Grandy from Ferrum College. Ferrum, the newest team to the ODAC this year, bringing the league's contingent to eight squads. Coach, introduce yourself to the, to the ODAC fans here. Talk a little bit about your philosophy for coaching and the way you want to see uh, Ferrum play as you step into the ODAC for your first season. Sure. Now, going into my third year overall at Ferrum, you know, our, our objective has always been to play hard for 60 minutes and you know, let the scoreboard figure it out at the end of the game. And uh, I think we've done that for two years that I've been there. And that's certainly the brand of football we want to play. We want to play you know, sound football. We want to play hard to the whistle and you know, compete. We take a look at your squad coming in, and everything looks good from your team. You're eight and two last year, had a shot there at the at the USA South title. You've got key players in a lot of places. You returned last year's USA South Offensive Player of the Year in Brian Mann, your running back. You lost last year's Defensive Player of the Year in Mr. Lee on your defensive line. Talk a little bit about what you see from your offense. We'll talk a little defense here shortly. Sure. Well, Brian's certainly the centerpiece and has been, you know, for two years and uh, has had a tremendous career. Uh, where the you know coaches recognized him as player of the year and uh, last year and he was ready to go for his junior season and uh, I've certainly checked the the roster to make sure he's coming back and uh, you know he's surrounded by a, an offensive line that that has a senior and three juniors uh, Malik Price is a senior who's been there since I've gotten there and has done a great job and um, you know two senior wideouts on the edge there with Johnny White and Nick Pierce you know are going to be uh, key players in the upper class. And let's talk a little bit about on the defensive side for you. Like I mentioned, you lost a defensive player of the year, but you got a lot of key guys back to that unit. What do you see for that part of the ball this year? Sure. I mean, the biggest question I've gotten from alums and people is, you know, how are we going to replace, you know, two first-team all-conference guys with Montel Lee being an All-American. Uh, but that happens on every roster. And, you know, if you're doing what you're supposed to, they graduate. And we got to have other guys in the, the bloodlines. And, um, now we've got a, a core of guys in the back end that are, are returning. Uh, Rod Smith's a senior corner for us, and uh, Taylor Brown's a linebacker that's played significantly going into his junior year. And then Purcell Burvine's going to be a senior that's played a good bit, along with a host of guys. This most no defensive line rotates a good bit, so we've got some guys that aren't as noted as those kids who graduated, but they're going to have an opportunity to, to fill those spots. Coming in from uh from the outside USA South perspective back into the ODEC as I know you spent some time at, I believe, Emory and Henry College, correct? Correct. Talk a little bit about coming back into the ODEC, your views on the league, where you see it is, maybe some differences from when you were at e h to what it is now. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the coaches are the same. Obviously, uh, you know, WNL's had a, a promotion there, but, you know, Garrett's been there, played there, and, you know, been a part of their program, so I'm sure they're going to have a great trans transition. Uh, but just from competing, I know they're going to be well-coached teams that play hard, and uh, every Saturday is going to be a new adventure, and uh, you know, we're looking forward to that challenge. And talk about kind of, you're touching on there where I wanted to finish off here, the challenge of coming in. Talk about the psyche, the, what's in your head of the players coming in, where they knew this change was coming about. How's your team prepared and ready to go for its first season in the ODAC? Yeah, I mean, I think your preparation is very similar, you know, regardless of your league. Obviously, the, the things that coaches have to do and, and challenges we face are a little bit different than players. They still have to do the physical work and the mental work for what we do as a team. And uh, those challenges, I think, are going to be more in our office to, uh, you know, be able to uh, navigate through tendencies and things of some staffs that we haven't faced, you know, in the past couple of years. But we've, you know, scrimmaged Guilford for the time that I've been there. Uh, we played Emory and Henry, you know, annually. Uh, my first year there, we played Shenandoah and Hampton, Sydney. Um, so there's some commonality of some some play in the last couple of years with at least half the league. But um, that's certainly going to be a, a challenge to to get up to speed. Well, Coach, I want to thank you for joining me today, and good luck this season. Appreciate it.